All right, I got a, I got a few here. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're saying. He said, he said, what? Well, or is it control shift new? <laughs> no, that's how you go. Control T. Ah, it's control T is how you make a new tab, Adam. It's control T. And he's probably going to say to me, you didn't know that. And I'm going to be like, no, why you got to embarrass me about it? I'm just Damn. poor. I'm just a poor kid that don't know nothing, you know. Oh, uh, Winston! Fucking, this fucking uh, elitist motherfucker over here is trying to talk down to me, an uneducated child. <laughs> oh, hello, Winston. How are you doing? I'd so... be a lot better if you stop talking shit about me to my fucking fan club. Oh, you knew about that. Yeah, man, I know you've been posting those hateful things on Facebook about me and my family and try to <laughs> talk about try to talk about how oh me and Baba Jew got a got something going. I never even met that woman. I don't even I don't know what you're talking about. I've never even mm. talk ah, soda. Talk shit, get hit, slick. I've heard that before. What does that mean to you? Talk shit, get hit, slick. Hmm. I'll run you over by tractor. Oh, you have a tractor, huh? Yeah, Jay, st- uh, Jay bought me one the other week from Lowe's. Oh, from Lowe's? <clears throat> yeah. Like, 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 fear and loathing in Las Vegas? That was a half... That was a half-ass joke, and you know it. (laughs) 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 Yep. Yep. All right, cuz, what do you say we get into a little bit of topical punch? I don't know. Uh, Okay. Excuse me. Um, Well... First, what I got here, uh, this just broke to, well, yesterday uh, from WSLS uh, 10 team news, 10 news team working for our side in our area. Southwest Virginia husband and wife realtor team sentenced for fraud. Uh, a couple uh, 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 pled uh, guilty to wire fraud in February 2022, and they were sentenced to 15 months in prison on Friday. Ooh, good for them. Good job, guys. Yeah, we and you know, we, we, we don't know the whole story. We'll, we'll get into this news story, but even this news story doesn't really tell us the whole thing. You know, I'm sure there's all sorts of context to this <laughs> that we don't know about, you know. <clears throat> um, but this is coming out of Abingdon. Wise County, I feel like they've been in the news a lot recently. Uh, husband and wife were sentenced for wire fraud while working together as a realtor team Don't! around here, according to the DOJ. The couple, Jesse Deloche and Natasha Deloche, uh, both pleaded guilty to wire fraud in February 2022. And on Friday, the DOJ said they were both sentenced to 15 months in Fed. I was about to say those names sounded really familiar. What do you know about these folks? Nothing. No! Aside from I've heard their names before. Yeah. But I, it might have been because back in February, we were looking at news stories back then, and it might have been one of the ones I came across. Oh, maybe, maybe. But yeah, there was some wire fraud going on. Um, they've agreed to pay 146 No! Uh, <clears throat> Let me try that again. $146,273 in restitution. Their scheme, according to the court documents referenced in the release, happened while the Deloches uh, owned a real estate agency out of what Southwest Virginia called Coltown Properties. Um, Cold. I wonder if they're mm-hmm. more commercial. I haven't really seen that company. Um, so between uh, March, six, uh, March 2016 and November... 2019 
The DOJ said that they've created at least 19 fake home sale contracts and submitted them to advanced commission companies, which assist real estate agents with cash flow to fraudulently get money. Um, so it looks like Ooh. a weird little hole that they found that they could slip through. Yeah, but it's, it's still, I believe that's a federal crime. Yeah, and some could say a victimless crime, which is why they got 15 months. I mean, whose money was this that they were taking it from? Uh, some sort of middleman is going to get a little kickback from insurance. Yeah, this is probably their reasoning through all of this. This isn't what yep. I actually think. <laughs> I was about to say that's that sounds more like their thought process there. So let's uh, yeah. draw it back a little. Let's see, maybe you know, take a step back. You know, it's coming out of someone's pocket. Something's getting fucked up here. You know, uh, so they created uh, fake title companies. Uh, they altered uh, home sale contracts uh, to make it seem like no other realtors were involved to claim double the commissions. Um, uh, and so these uh, fake contracts would uh, validate these um, uh, commissions. Um, yeah. Uh, so they got over $300,000 in advanced sale commissions over the entirety of their schemes, which 300000 over the course of three years, 100000 a year. Yeah. Tate Wade and Apple Shark. <laughs> Well, they did that between 2016 and 2019, and then they just got jammed back in February. Right. So is that like the, you know, I didn't take lunch every day, you know, I took it, you know, I just grabbed a patty every now and then. It's like, nah, they were taking taking lunch every day, you know. <laughs> every day, and they, they were getting the full meal. Yeah, yeah, because I don't think, yeah, 300, I, there's no way it was simply that since 2016. Hmm. Mm hmm. So the FBI, the Virginia State Police uh, assisted in this case with assistance from the Wise County Commonwealth Attorney's Office, Assistant U.S. Attorney uh, Lena L. Boucher in uh, prosecuting the case. And this this uh, story here came from Allie Graham over WSLS. Good job, Allie Graham, with the uh, crime crime reporting. Cover it. Bow Gotcha. Moving along, uh, we're going to zoom out to the national level. Senator Cruz has been making a fool of himself. Uh, the Republican oh, no. Texan <laughs> uh, slammed his boot on the table in opposition to the FBI guidelines on symbols that indicate extremist groups. Why would he do that? Why would you mm. do that, Cruz? Uh, this comes from Yahoo News. Uh, again, just popped the other day. He slammed his boot. Um, he said, uh, <clears throat> also included on this is a text that I was particularly struck is the Gonzalez battle flag. Come and take it as indicative of being a violent extremist militia. Let, let's let's take a look at what this looks like. This shit, which I've never seen. Maybe it's just some Texas shit. Yeah, it's some Texas shit. Texas, Texas, Texas. It's a symbol from the Battle of Gonzales uh, prevailed through 183 years of Texas history. Uh, the flag stood for defiance against Mexican dictatorship, Mexican independence, because that was their land. Um, and today the flag's meaning remains rooted in Texas pride. I wonder if this is something that's been boiling up around like these border borderlands. Are you feeling um, sorry for yourself? So, uh... The uh, da, 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 he's comparing it to the Betsy Ross flag, which the the Gadsden flag, which the Ga Gadsden flag, which I <laughs> myself I'm not particular. I see this shit and my fucking blood boils, you know. Ugh. Mm -hmm. You know. Have you ever noticed that motherfuckers that float the Gadsden flag are always the biggest dicks in traffic? Oh yeah. Isn't it funny oh, yeah. that they say some don't tread on me shit, but they're the ones that are always fucking treading on motherfuckers? Like fuck you. Gonna fuck cut you me. off. Oh, you're you trying to get over it. <laughs> right up beside you. <laughs> don't tread on me. Loser! Don't tread on my freedom. My freedom. You're a loser. Uh so uh FBI director Christopher Ray said uh he's not familiar with the particular document 
that he has behind him and not in the practice to try to comment on documents that he doesn't recognize. <laughs> but I will tell you that uh, we put out intelligence products, uh, including ones that reference symbols, which we do across a wide variety of contexts. We usually make great pains and take great pains and put caveats, warnings, and document to make it clear the symbol alone is not considered evidence of violence. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's the symbol along with some fucked up shit, but it's just like, look, like, most of y'all floating this symbol acting, acting shitty, so <laughs> yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna tag no. it. We're gonna tag it as shitty. So, that's what that's Tagline, you are a POS. Yes, yes. For many reasons, Ted Cruz. Loser! Not fucking backing up your wife when the fucking ex-president, the ex-president called his wife ugly, like right in front of them, and Ted Cruz is <laughs> just gonna... You're a loser! You know? And then, like, his fucking daughter fucking was asshole. like... His daughter was like, Mom, you should leave, Dad. <laughs> I know. I won't, but I know. Yeah, and it's just like, that's ugh, ugh. That then you had that whole argument earlier in the year between uh, good old Ted there and Seth, Seth Rogan. Mm. That was epic. Oh my god, that was epic. I loved that man. That I love Seth Rogan for so many reasons, but that was even more. Just like fuck you for liking my movies. <laughs> I know. And yeah, I followed that. That was crazy. Like, Fuck you for liking my movies. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> uh, you're a funny guy, but here's a bunch of irrelevant points. And? Yeah. Fucking. So, I, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the Alex, Alex Jones trial, but it's been hilarious. Um, and finally... Jury awards forty five point two million in punitive damages uh, from Alex Jones to the families of uh, that he's been defaming on his show, um, and I just love they kept calling out more and more um, just ridiculous shit that he was doing. His, and his fucking lawyers, the the latest hilarity was his fucking lawyers accidentally sent a copy of his cell phone to the fucking lawyers that were um uh lobbying against him oh no oh boy yeah like the fucking um prosecution sent them a copy of alex jones's cell phone so they were Ooh. able to straight up be like okay well everything you've been saying so far is perjury because right here it fucking says, you know, all these contradictions between with everything you've said. So, fuck you. And I think that's why this has just ended so abruptly because that was like yesterday that that happened. And oh, so, good job. And like, and then, and and at the end too, the the fucking prosecutor is like, and don't think, Mister Jones, I'm not handing all this over to the FBI because. Uh, this isn't done. Like the, you just this just open up a whole nother fucking can of worms, and he starts crying. Alex Jones is like sweating and crying. God, if you listen like, on the fucking help. stand, <laughs> and his lawyers just sitting there. You are so stupid. <laughs> just, yeah. I wish I could help you, but you, I fucked yourself. Um. Hmm. I mean, dude, and, and uh, you know, I, I have a long history with the Alex Jones shit. Um, you know, when InfoWars started up, that's when he started losing me. And I just hate the fucking effect that he's had on um, just the conspiracy theory world. You know, it was already there were the scary circles, but now they have become the mainstream of this movement. There used to be you know an understanding where over here you got your right wing conspiracies over there you got your left wing conspiracies over there you got your crazy shit over there you got your racist shit over here you got your like you know your rational stuff your real stuff you know and, and like and what the the moment i knew i had to fucking peel away from that world was the fucking sandy hook moment like 
where where you know talk about the crisis actor shit which crisis actor shit again it's it is a real thing that happens but to fucking say that shit was just the most bananas cuckoo thing ever and i was just like dude (laughs) and then like the joe rogan shit was hilarious and then it just wasn't funny anymore and like i'm so glad to finally see these motherfuckers get their comeuppance in some way um, I'm going to play the Just Desserts card. Throwback to Yu Gi Oh! circa 2005. Oh, yeah. Something like that, yeah. Man. So let's zoom out off. Uh, not We're not blasting off to space today, uh, even though there have been some, some cool uh, launches over in South Korea. Just not enough really to talk about. But uh, here's something that 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 uh, piqued my interest um, just now. And this is going to be the first time I read this. Or maybe I'm not going to read this. There we go. Oh. Hip. Hap. Whoo. Hold on. I have a little. Yeah. She. Cha. Ah. Is it saying bit. denied, oh. sir? Ah. Hmm. Mm. All right, well, let's see if this. Maybe this one. All right. Hit. Whoop. Hit. Ha. Go away. No, go away. Go away. I guess we're not going to read this today, Adam. We're not well. Gonna read this today. Yeah, because the Shit. fucking. Fucking people trying to make money. I'm trying to make art, brother. Right, well, hmm. Trying to make art, brother. Australian uh, space debris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see this. Oh, our, our 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 friends over here at Live Science are are guys and dolls. Over here at Live Science, they're going to let us learn about this. Check out this fucking space debris, dude. (gasps) SpaceX space junk is already fucking shit up, Adam. Is that is that like something that that crashed down onto the planet? Like a lawn dart. Looks an awful lot like um, like like the the Black Knight satellite. It does. I wish it was that cool. Yeah, me too. Three large chunks of space debris that crash landed into Australian sheep farms have been confirmed as belonging to SpaceX. Don't! The Australian mm. Space Agency announced this today on August 3rd. Uh, that was the other day. <clears throat> the space junk found embedded in farmlands in New South Wales Snowy Mountains region on Saturday, July 30th, came from uh, part of the SpaceX crew Dragon spacecraft that likely re-entered the Earth's atmosphere on July 9th. I mean, just think of it for fucking poor sheep was sitting under that, man. Oh, yeah, I'd have been crushed. Oh. As a look at that. That pancakes some shit, man. Mm-hmm. Um, so it launched Does it say in- how big that is? Three I mean, meters. that look... This That's was three meters, ten feet chunk. tall. Damn. Um, ba, ba, ba. So the farmer was freaked out and uh, oh, really? real pissed off about it. Like, what if it landed on your house? You know, um, it's the largest recorded piece of space junk to land in Australia since uh, the Skylab uh, back in 1979. Um so according to the Outer Space Treaty, uh, of which all the major spacefaring nations are parties, any country that sends an object into space is internationally liable for the damage it may cause to another party when it comes crashing back to Earth. So right now, Elon Musk would say some shitty shit like, "Oh, give him some grass seed. Give him." I can't. I can't. I can't do his voice. I can't do his stupid voice. But yeah, send him well, some just grass give him some grass seed. Um. We'll, we'll, we'll name a road after him. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Was that I George have Lucas? a lot of money. <laughs> George Lucas got confused. He thought, it was, well, that's not a piece of the Falcon, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that that I, I that would be if a piece of the Falcon landed in my yard. I'd be like, <laughs> you guys want to come pay me to come see it? And put it up in a little room. Boom! You you'd be like like in fucking Thor: Love and Thunder, man. You'd be like you'd be like a museum. It would be, man. So um so right now, of course, there isn't really much to be liable for. But um, nineteen seventy eight, uh, when the malfunctioning Soviet satellite Cosmos nine fifty four crash into western canada spraying a roughly 370 mile long path with debris uh, from its broken onboard nuclear reactor for which the ussr oh, paid canada stuff. three million canadian dollars you know 1978 dollars in compensation um so the rock this spacex rocket was the only one to fall to earth last weekend a 25 ton core stage of one of the china's uh long march by 5B boosters also fell over Malaysia and Indonesia, uh, sprinkling metallic debris over villages, according to space.com. <clears throat> Space agencies usually plan their trajectories of rockets so that any potential debris burns up in the atmosphere or lands in the ocean. But the increasing uh, pace of space activity has put more of Earth's population at risk of being struck by debris from uncontrolled reentries, as if we weren't already scared enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we've got that uh that that meteor scare coming our way too, and you know that's mm. uh that's one of those uncontrollable natural things. When you add mm. extra uncontrollable non-natural things, it's just it's gonna keep on you know growing, and then the magnitude of oh shit, I'm going to be struck by something falling yeah. from the sky and die. I mean, we were talking about this on this show back in 2019 when they first started all these launches. Yeah. Um, And we were talking about, look, man, I mean, if you look at these fucking projections of all the shit over Earth, it's just a web of shit that's going to be hit. And there's all, like you said, already meteors and shit. And, you know, it's just, uh, yeah. Uh A bunch of silly, crazy and psychosis. This is one of those 5B boosters. Um Let's see. I'm just going to see if there's any pictures or anything where there's just like they said, they sprayed over Malaysia, man. Like, it's fucking crazy. Firing squad electric chair. It's all safe to me. (sighs) Yeah, here in New York Times. All right. Oh, uh, but I actually do have a uh, pop culture thing here. Not space related, but... Oh, Dude, no. I know. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Fucking American Dad bosses discuss final episode plans. Um, it's Roger just turning off a light. That 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 would be kind of cool. Like, he just looks back on the house and just turns off a light. Like, it's like, why, why is this Roger's moment, you know? Um, so, yeah. Uh, they, they've envisioned. Well, I mean, if we think about it, though. If we remember, I think it was season, either season two or season three, with uh, the apocalypse and everybody dies, and then you find out everything from that point forward is all in Stan's heaven. Mm. Yeah, we, and that's when it gets more cartoony than it was yeah. previous. So I could see why they would go on a strange route like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I think that, you know, I remember around that time, all their season finales were like, this could be a series finale. But it looks like the series finale, luckily, is not in sight yet. But just the fact that they're even going there says they're there. It's going to be within the next few years for sure. Yeah. Um, Because I won't lie, American Dad's probably one of my favorite animated series. Yeah, there was a while... Where Cleveland show was my favorite, but it got old. It finally got old. You know, it was going to happen eventually. You know, but yeah, yeah, American Dad over Family Guy any day of the week. Yeah, I mean, I used to be a hardcore Family Guy fanatic, but then I don't know. It, just, it took that nosedive there for a while, and they were trying way too hard to be outlandish. And then they got a little bit better, and then they kind of just petered right there. Yeah, and just stayed. Yeah. Yeah, and and it's it's sad, man. It's sad. 
Um, and it's sad that that this day may be on the horizon for American Dad. You know, that'll be the saddest day because I like the first couple seasons of Bob's Burgers. Eh, like after a while, I was just like, these kids are just fucking annoying me. Like after a while, like the Luis and Jean shit, I'm just like, this ain't cute. It's not cute anymore. It's just fucking annoying. Like I would hate these kids. I would hate to be in this shitty, gross restaurant. <laughs> well, now I do. I will admit, I love Bob's Burgers, even with the annoying kids. I love it. Oh, However, I mean, it's you know, that's totally me. It's, it's me, not the show. It's me. Right. It's it. Well, it's a taste thing. You know, it's just like you know, there's plenty of people out there who love. King of the Hill. I love King of the Hill, but there's a lot of people who don't like King of the Hill. Well, it's too rednecky. Well, that's well, that's the point though. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a satire on the redneck family. But but as far as like Bob's Burgers go, I love the series. However, they came out with that movie recently, and they sh- really could have just broken it up into like three episodes. Oh, instead one of, of those. Movie. And the the storyline wasn't particularly great. I mean, it, it basically served what three filler episodes would do for a season as like a subplot as opposed that's, to being a that's, total plot. Uh, and so it was just a cash grab. Yeah, it's it was a cash grab, definitely. <laughs> it took the fucking Simpsons 30 years to get their movie, dude. Yeah, it did. Simpsons probably could could come out with another movie and it'd be more successful. I love Even with the Simpsons, Simpsons movie, being- that was actually epic. That was actually a film worthy thing. And th- and what was cool about that, too, was what they did at that time. The Simpsons updated their animation at that time and they updated the animation for the movie to look all cinematic. And so that then the next season, it wasn't too jarring that everything now looked more updated. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, Plus Family Guy had that moment. You go back and watch Old Family Guys, and you're like, ugh, like, how did I watch this? I know, right? With that weird blocky animation that was very, very beginner looking. Yeah. And like then flash it, it animation. takes that hard right turn, and it's like, whoa, this is so much better now. Yeah. And I but think that was I, when they brought it back a few years later after it had gotten canceled. Yeah, yeah. But um, one thing I really loved about the Simpsons movies, the whole Spider Pig thing. I love Spider Pig. Spider Pig, Spider Pig. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a pig. And then, the, like the next season, they would they would bring the pig back a few times, like, and he was he was like the baby Grogu of shit for a second. You know, oh yeah, like, yeah. He was kind of the the weird character they would just have in there, like sometimes. Um, yeah, it was cute and it was a cute meme for the time. It was a cute time. I, I, re- I remember, um, uh, man, one thing that just haunted us all though was Bart's fucking schwitz, the, uh, schwitz, schwanz. Is that, is that what they say? Schwanz. So they, they fucking show his schwanz. Schwan- oh, yeah. When he yeah. Smacks against the window. Oh, yep. Or yep. was it when he rides by on the skateboard? They I think kept it's covering when he rides it, by and on, suddenly they showed it, and we're like, and then there was, yeah, because they cover it, cover it, cover it, and then they cover his face, and there it is. It was just, it was just a little, a little elephant head, just a tiny little elephant head. Um, yeah, weird times, cute times. Uh, now some scary times. I've been seeing this shit, and I should have known from the three dots there, but I, I didn't, you know, I didn't. I didn't notice it. Um, I've been seeing this prey thing, and I thought it was like going to be a, a. I thought it was like a movie version of that Cartoon Network show. It's right, right, right. Something because you know this. It's like that thing's all jungly and has a like painted person running around. You know, uh, but right. no, it looks like it was a back. It's a backdoor predator reboot. Um, so before we even read this article, I'm going to find us the um, trailer to watch because I want to watch trailer and that'll, and that'll tell me um, how to commentate. Well, and just whether or not I'll even want to watch this because the trailer is shitty. I'm not, not going to watch this, you know. 
That's true. Now, the last Predator movie that came out, the one that had the dog Predators in it, that one was not worth watching. Predator? I, or actually, that what no. It was? Um, Predator was good. Predator was good. With Topher Grace. Was that the one with Topher Grace? Am I getting no, things mixed uh, up? No, that's Predators. Yeah, that's where they're on the planet with the Predators. You, oh, yeah. You were talking about The Predator. Yeah. That one, it was definitely low budget. The script was written by some random people. It was not, I mean, I wouldn't even bank it in the same universe, to be honest. I mean, they could have gotten away with calling the thing something else. Nobody would have known it was Predators. Right, right. One of those, one of those. Look. I mean, I might watch this shit tonight, dude. If it's good, is it available if it look, now? If it looks good. It's on Hulu. They keep pushing it in my face. Why do you want to hunt? Because you all think that I can't. Oh, it's the chick from fucking... Oh, she's in Legion. I saw a sign she's in so the sky. Oh, okay. Okay. My only Nita. Remember AVP? They would come here yeah. in ancient times. <laughs> There's something else. Hard I'm trying to you. you can't. I'm trying to protect yes. you. Protect Please me do. from what? This is awesome. It already looks better. It's, it's time. time. I agree. studios now yeah you saw she was doing the arnie dude she was doing yeah the laying in that mud you think will be oh, able to track man, you that, that thermal shit. Cool. That... that actually uh, that looks a lot better than i thought it would i love it man man because we've been seeing our modern day technology go up against the predator Time and time again, we've seen even some futuristic technologies go up against the Predator a few times. We haven't, we've seen primitive techniques work. They're the only ones that ever do. Yeah. You remember in um, Predators where uh, old Morpheus, he's living like a hermit and doing all that shh, quiet stuff hunting them with like axes and all that craziness mm -hmm. instead of using those future guns yeah can't oh, yeah. out. 11 years of thanks what what he lived on that planet for by himself hmm. yeah yeah man that's good shit dude oh they hulu keeps showing it to me and i should i should fucking know by now man my algorithms got me dog they know me man like, watch it, bro. Watch whatever they put in front of my fucking face, man. <laughs> yeah, man. That was a good uh, good run of Topical Punch. Show. Oh, I was wondering. I was like, damn, something happened. It's kind of like Homer Simpson for a whole second. Yeah. 
Anyway, man, I'm gonna get out of here, dude. Why? Because I I'm, I'm fucking tired. All right. Because I've been, like, working hard today and shit, man. Why? Because I got a lot of shit to do. I'm impotent, man. Get away from me, bitch. <laughs> I live with this man. Get away from me, bitch. I'm gonna miss you. All right, <laughs> all right well. dude. <clears throat> That's all the Snide Show today that's fit to print and develop at your local Kodak uh, station. Um, you got anything else to add today, AC? This is just, uh, it's, it's been a great way to vent out frustration. Oh, I, yeah, that's true. That's true. But it's, also it's stay all... in shape. Ah, He's taking it back, y'all. Well, find him on Yes That AC. Find me at Corey the Curator. I've got a new series of curations I've been working on, um, been banking up. So if you're into the cannabis shit, uh, that's the lane I'm going to start uh, veering that ship down uh, because analogies. And um, so Corey the Curator, or if you want to get more personal with me, Cornelius Edward Snyder on all platforms. And don't forget to stay snide. Stay snide. You think they'll like it? They'll love it. Yeah.